Ladies and gentlemen, protecting our freedom, let's give our veterans a big round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for our first veteran returning home.
a member of the U.S. Army in the Korean War, Theodore Schuderman. A member of the U.S. Army in the Korean War, John Perry. <laughs> Serving America in the U.S. Army during the Korean War, William Provenza. U.S. Army, Korean War, Alan Waters. A member of the U.S. Navy during the Vietnam War, Gerald Swanson. U.S. Navy, Vietnam War, welcome home, Tom Adams. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, in the U.S. Army, welcoming home from Vietnam, round of applause for Paul Stenzel. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, welcoming home our veterans!
let's do this. You ready? All right, let's take a seat real quick. Sorry for our tardiness, but we were driving with precious cargo. We wanted to make sure they got here safely, and we did it. So here we go. Uh, Linda, where's Linda? Linda? Okay. We go. Uh -oh. Here we go. We are now going to have our national anthem sung by Rhonda Weiner, please. Thank you. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Rhonda, that was beautiful. Next, we have a very special person with us that is going to give us prayer. This veteran is very special to us. He came on board under two weeks ago, and he has offered to do prayer for us. Please give it up for World War II hero and father, Mark Jones. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the opportunity to serve our nation. And you do have these words and yet come home safe and sound so that we may read other people. We give you thanks for these people who have honored us and we have given us this, this great reception. Thank you very much. Thank you, God. Thank you. Amen. Amen. How awesome is he? Next, we have Ms. Della Steele from the World War II Black Navy Veterans of Great Lakes that is going to give us our first welcome. You can stand right there. I'll give you the mic. Giving honor to God. On behalf of the dedicated members of the World War II Black Navy Veterans of Great Lakes, it is indeed an honor to stand here and welcome home such a distinguished, outstanding group of fine citizens. Each and every one of you veterans deserves the right to be recognized by our country and state, and most definitely us, your local community. Speaking for myself and all of us here and all your neighbors, you are our heroes and sheroes. We know all of you have memories of those who served with you that went on to glory before being able to experience such a weekend as you just have. We are grateful to all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're glad that you were able to visit the Washington, D.C., and to witness our country's tribute to you veterans of World War II and the Korean and veteran conflicts. Welcome home, veterans. As I take my seat, I want to brag a little and clarify and stress the fact that this Veteran Memorial Park where we are here assembled is for all veterans. 
The idea and fundraising efforts to build this memorial park was through the endless efforts of the World War II Black Navy veterans of Great Lakes and the assisted by many local citizens and local and federal politicians. I hate to start calling names because I might accidentally omit someone. But every opportunity I get, I want to clarify the fact that the World War II Black Navy veterans of Great Lakes spearheaded the Veterans Memorial Park here and they helped raise the funds. All of you that helped, we are thankful. And this Memorial Park is for all veterans, each and every veteran of all colors, all races, all religions, and all branches of the United States Armed Forces. On behalf of the World War II Black Navy Veterans of Great Lakes, welcome home, warriors. We are glad to be among those who welcome you home from the 2014 Lake County World War II Honor Flight. We salute you! Good evening, I'm Mayor Christy Kavark from the Village of Gurney. And on behalf of the Village of Gurney, I am just so honored to be here with each and every one of you. You make me so proud. My father was a World War II vet. And he passed away the month before the memorial opened. So my brother and I went in his memory. And I can tell you, it makes me so happy to know that each of you got to go on this wonderful trip. I want to make sure I'm doing everything possible with Paula to make sure we can get all of our veterans from World War II, Korea, Vietnam, out to Washington, D.C. It, it, my father said to me that we all, all have an obligation to serve our country. The most honorable way is with your service. Thank you. But it also another way is by, is by being an elected official. And so I serve to make all of you proud. And when it gets tough, I remember your sacrifices and what you did to make sure I would have that opportunity to serve my community. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And I'm glad you're back and that you had a good time. Thank you. I'm Senator Terry Link of the 30th District and a former North Chicagoan, but always a North Chicagoan. Uh, I want to say thank you to every veteran because you make what I do possible. And I also want to say something. I'm one of the products of the end of World War II. That's when I was born. <laughs> I'm one of the original baby boomers. And I have to say one thing. You know, today, kids are learning about these different superheroes. You know, Spider-Man, Superman, Batman, whatever kind of man it was, but that's all their superheroes. I want to say that everyone that's sitting here, and many more that were with you, you're my superheroes. Because you made our lives possible for the future of my generation and my grandchildren's generation, and you're responsible for that. And I want to say, let God's speed be with you. But I also have to make one quick sh shout out to my dear friend who I've known almost my entire life, Irene Sharkett. And Irene, I got to tell you, it's a pleasure to be able to speak tonight with somebody that I've loved and dearly respected for, I hate to say how many years, but a lot and a lot of decades together. We were together on different things, but she is definitely my hero as all of you are. God bless all of you and God bless America. Good evening, I'm Congressman Brad Schneider representing the 10th Congressional District here and it is a great honor to be here to welcome all of our heroes back this evening from what I hope was a spectacular trip and a visit to Washington, D.C. Everyone who has a grandparent or great-grandparent, please stand up. Here. I'm gonna let the train go by for a second. For the people whose grandparents and great-grandparents are before us, this is what they fought for, is for each and every one of you. 
the idea that we're fighting and becoming a nation not one generation ago but two and three generations ago each and every one of you should look at this generation and know that you're seeing the greatest generation that ever lived I know every day I go to work in the shadow of the memorials that you all visited today that I'm working to honor the fight and the dignity and the sacrifices your generation made. So I just want to say thank you and welcome home. And we wouldn't be here, we wouldn't be who we are without each and every one of you. Thank you very much. And it's my honor to introduce Mayor Leon Rockingham. Thank you, Congressman. Well, my name is Leon Rockingham, and I'm happy to say that I'm the mayor of the city of North Chicago. But I can't give my speech and give my talk without standing behind my veteran that I had the honor to be with this week in Raymond. And you know, it, it was, it was a very humble, humble experience to be able to be here with these 19 veterans here in, in, out in Washington, D.C. You know, I've been to Washington on many occasions and to be at the different memorials, but it just was totally a different experience when you're there with the veterans that have actually made that happen. You know, the World War II, the Vietnam, the Korean veterans that were here today. It, 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 tro it truly just uh, uh, a very humble experience. You know, I was going to get up and say, you know, I can finally take off my tag that we had all the time of the trip. That, uh, you know, from taking the wheelchairs out to getting the luggage out. But you know, gentlemen, I would do that for you anytime. I will continue to do that for you. To, to, to be honored, to be able to just give you respect. I want to commend these ladies over here. Tangela, Stella, Tamara, Paula, that put this on. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I think every veteran here has, during the trip, said how proud they were to be a part of this uh, uh, honor flight. And, 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 and as mayor, knowing what it is to be here in North Chicago, Naval Station Great Lakes, the only Naval Training Center in the United States is here in our town. James A. Lovell, the health care where the veterans come to get their medical attention here in the city of North Chicago. We should all be proud of the fact that it's here, not only in North Chicago, but in Lake County. So I say to you gentlemen, God bless each and every one of you. We have bonded that will uh, never ever be uh, apart. So God bless you, and I'm gonna turn it over to Paula. Thank you so much for all of you coming out. Thank you. Awesome, thank you, Mayor. We, we, he's the mayor of this wonderful city. He's been so supportive of our Lake County Honor Flight, and this is where it started, and we knew we had to get him on this trip so that he can experience for himself what this means. It is a trip of a lifetime that you will never forget. So at this time, we have a couple presentations. We have already, because it got chilly, we have already handed out your first gift and surprise, and that is these beautiful quotes from our friends, the happy, the Crafty Happy Hookers, thank you very much. Where's the representative? Come on, thank you. These, you wanna briefly tell them about the quote? The McHenry VFW Auxiliary has uh, worked with the Crafty Happy Hookers for several years and they were more than overjoyed to supply our veterans for, with something warm on their return. And we are extremely grateful as representatives of the Winthrop Harbor VFW Auxiliary to deliver them. And we thank you all very much for your service and sacrifice. Awesome. Thank you very much. Next we have 
Cookies for soldiers. Can I please have Rhonda come up? We have some awesome, delicious cookies because we need that sugar for you. Where, there we go. Can you tell us a little bit about these special cookies? Cookies for Soldiers Incorporated was started by my daughter Emily when she was about five and she was asked what she could do with her Girl Scout cookies as a way to give back to others and she said she wanted to send five boxes overseas. So we went and asked someone we knew who was involved with the veterans and we're from LaPorte, Indiana. And we asked what, how, you know, what can we do to make it a bigger organization and he said his VFW would like to match that. And he gave us addresses of all of the um, American Legion's VFWs in LaPorte. And that year, we were able to send 400 boxes overseas. This year, with the help of 110 other Girl Scouts, including our friend Michaela here, we were able to send over 4,500. And today, we get to welcome our third honor flight home. We had two in Fort Wayne, Indiana, one just this week. And then today we want to welcome you guys home and thank you for the service that you've done for us. And on your way out to your right, we would like you to stop by and make sure you get a box of Girl Scout cookies so Michaela and Emily can tell you thank you themselves. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, we have a surprise for you. You met her today. We had a, a tour guide. Her name was Lauren and she you know, was with us all day. They are with an organization that reached out and said, we want to bless our awesome, wonderful veterans with some treats. So please give it up. You have a care package from Operation Gratitude. And if you don't want to carry them, your, your guardians aren't off the clock yet, so you can make them carry it for you. It's not over. You got it. You better eye your guardian. Thank you very much. While they're doing that, I want to make a couple announcements. One, if you haven't done so already, please go onto our Facebook account, like it, share it with at least 10 people. That's all I need, okay? Do that today. We need help trying to find veterans to go on this trip and uh, help fundraising. It takes a lot to take these veterans and we pamper them and treat them like royalty on our way there, on our way back. And um, we need your help. Fundraising dollars. Honor Flight of Lake County operates 100% on a volunteer basis. Everyone here volunteers the time. We have full-time jobs, believe it or not, we do. Um, and it's a pleasure to serve you, but we need your help. So if you'd like to volunteer as a guardian, go on our website, lakecountyhonorflight.org, download the application. We have our next trip. This is April of 2015, and we're scheduled to have approximately 25 veterans go on that trip. We good? You got your box? I can't wait for you guys to open it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, enjoy it, and special thanks to Operation Gratitude. Next, we will have our awesome friend and escort team from Warriors Watch present you with some beads. Where's uh, Joe Alger? Is he here? Let's get him up here. He is going to present you with some beads. I think we gave him a little responsibility, so I'll give him some time to come up. We'll find, we'll find Joe to come up. You good? No. Um, there's so many people to thank. I can't name you all, so please forgive me. We want to get these veterans home. Um, we got, like I said, Facebook, our Honor Flight uh, website. And we have, um, we're looking for more veterans, so please spread the word. Behind you here is um, something special that we have for you guys. This year we um, partnered with Colonial um, Foundation, and we hosted our very first Field of Honor. And for Memorial Day, we displayed these flags, and each flag represents a veteran that has passed. On our second trip, this is number three, on our second trip we decided that these flags would represent the veterans that went on our trip. So before you leave, I know some of you asked, right behind us you have your very own flag. Your flag. Each one of these flags represents a veteran on this trip and one very special flag for our, the inspiration behind Lake County Honor Flight was our awesome, phenomenal Frank Worthen, a World War II um, Navy veteran. We ended today's touring at the Martin Luther King Memorial because that is how Lake County Honor Flight got started. Mr. Frank Worthen, who went home to be with the Lord last year, and I had a discussion in 2011 about wanting to go see the unveiling of 
Martin Luther King, and he said, I don't, I'd like to go. Let's figure this out. And we figured it out. We took six local veterans. I see some of you guys from trip number one. Trip number one, if you're here, raise your hand. We successfully took six veterans to Washington, D.C., and the next year we applied for our official honor flight, Lake County Honor Flight Hub, and we took six guys. We took 11 in June, and now we have 19 guys. Oh, 18 guys, our first female veteran. And as you can see, are the queen of our trip. She is the queen. So this is this is special to us, and we had a phenomenal time. There's so many blessings and stories, and we're going to share that all on our Facebook. Share that with everyone. Um, one warning to family members and friends, we have pampered them all the way. Every step of the way they've been pampered. They are used to walking into a room, being clapped for and cheered for. So if they walk into a room and they're looking at you strange, it's because you're not clapping or cheering for them, okay? Do we have Joe here? No, okay. Um, Special thanks, obviously, for the people that volunteer their time. Our videographer, Vic Walter, DJ Fun Times, Don Wilson, thank you very much. Our escort team, the phenomenal North Chicago Fire Department and North Chicago Police Department! Woo! It took so many people to put this together, and if you could see what we saw on that bus on the way here from Wisconsin State Police to Lake County Sheriff to North Chicago, it is a phenomenal, phenomenal thing to witness. Um, I like to thank the people that I work alongside with. It's an absolute honor, which is all of our coordinators. Please give them a round of applause. Stella, Tondra, and Tamara. And our awesome photographer, Kenneth Smith, for making this and capturing all of our moments and wonderful um, time on this trip. Now, we're going to have Joe give the beats on his way out. And at this time, because we want to get our veterans home, and they are cold, I know it. I'm, every time we get on the bus, before we leave, before we... Get, before we deport on the plane. If I can get all the guardians to stand behind your veterans, please. Guardians to the front. This is how we get on the bus, off the bus, and this is how we keep track to make sure that we have not left anyone behind. So guardians have a very big responsibility, and in order to keep track of them, we have a little system. And this is how we will end today. Our little system is called Sound Off. And we have a very special coordinator who handles that for us. Y'all ready this evening? Wait, wait, wait. Bring them on. Want to make sure we brought every veteran back home. Amen? Amen. Guardians, you in place? Sound off. One, two, three, four. Hold on, five. North Chicago. Woo! Six. Woo! Seven. Eight. Nine. Peace and love. Woo! Ten. Eleven. America. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Okay. <laughs> 19, 20, 21, 22. Ladies and gentlemen, we have brought home our heroes. <laughs> heroes don't wear capes, they wear dog tags. You guys are phenomenal. This, I said this. 20 times is not a goodbye. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. We have your wheelchairs um, right out here. And thank you guys for coming out. This means a lot to us. Have a good evening. Thank you.